Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can model a fashion hardware such as this buckle using its subdivision modeling tools. Okay, let's start. Okay, I have created the general construction boundaries and the next thing that I'll need to do is to create the skeletal structures for the two halves of the buckle. And I reckon that the first thing that I will want to do is to create the arc over here using the start, end and radius uh, mode arc. Okay? Okay, something like that and then I want to mirror this over here okay so I'm gonna type the mirror and mirror it over here okay and the next thing I want to do is to draw two lines to connect these two arcs okay, okay I'm going to make sure that the object snap the end snap is turned on Okay, now I would like to join all these curves and then make a duplicate and place it over here. Okay, so pressing and holding the Alt key, I'm making a duplicate, okay, and placing it over here. And this duplicate will form the basis for the other half of the buckle. Okay, now I want to create the details over here, okay. And making sure that the object snap, the mid snap is turned on. I'm going to draw a curve. Okay. Pressing and holding a shift key. To be somewhere around here. Okay. And then I want to draw one half of the detail over here. Using the control point curve. Okay. The point to take note is that the first and second point should be vertically aligned so that when we uh, mirror this onto the other side, it will form a straight line over here, okay? So something like that. Okay, something like that. Let's mirror this onto the other half. Okay. Okay, now let's um, create the subd surface for this and let's open up the subd toolbar and use this, okay, the multi pipe, okay. So I'm going to select all these curves and then click the multi pipe and I want the pipe radius to be set to 2.5, okay, and the caps to be on. The strut division on the set to zero for a smooth um, curve. Okay, and press enter. Okay. Okay, so this is the initial result. Okay. You should always keep the initial construction curve so that if you were to uh, make any changes, you can always fall back on these curves to create a new uh, set of sub D. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to rotate this to its uh, locking position. Okay. Pressing and holding the control key, I'm going to shift the rotation pivot of the gumball. Okay. And then let's do a rotation. Okay, I think somewhere around here. Okay, somewhere around here. Okay, and this will be the the ro rotation um locking position. Okay. So okay, something like that. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to create the details over here for the other half and. What I'm going to do is to draw a line and 
project it onto this uh, sub D surface. Okay, draw a line somewhere around here. Let's do a projection. Let's project this onto this. Okay, so I get like this uh, section over here. Okay, and as you can see, there's a lot of control points. So let's um, rebuild this. Okay. To let's say 12 control points okay and then what we need to do is to use the offset command to offset a new curve that is uh, of a specific distance from from this one okay so I'm going to type the offset and okay we know that our type has a radius of 2.5 so what we need to do is to create a new curve that is um, able to allow us to create a pipe that is also having the same radius but we also have to uh, take into consideration uh, a gap over here so that the new uh, part over here will not intersect with this uh, existing part okay so what I'm going to do is to set the distance to be having a value greater than 2.5 okay so let's uh have it as 2.8 okay and then click on this and click okay something like that i think i might want to rebuild this again okay to have uh, lesser control points okay Okay, now what I want to do is to move this over here. Okay, and then I want to create like kind of a smooth connection over here. Okay, and to do that, I want to create a polyline that is a uh, tangent to this region over here. And to do that, make sure that the object snap the tangent. Okay, is uh, turned on. Okay. And let's select the polyline. Okay. Okay, so the first end is here, the other end is somewhere around here. Make sure that the object snap is uh, activated and snapping to, to tangent so that we can get this position over here. Okay, something like that. Okay. okay and then I think I want this to be more smooth. To do that, I can use the adjustable curve blend. Okay, let's do a bit of adjustments. Something like that. And making sure that trim and join is uh, turned on and click OK. So we got something like that, okay? Okay, now I need to remove this, this region over here, okay? And I reckon the easiest way is to just draw a line here and then use it as one of the <coughs> uh, component for the trim here, okay? So I'm going to draw a polyline, maybe somewhere around here. It's a good idea to keep this uh, polyline just in case you need to uh, revisit this portion to make some kind of new uh, uh, curve uh, editing over here. Okay, so now let's do the trim. Okay, so click trim, select cutting objects, this and this object to trim is this. Okay, so now let's. Um, Uh, join these curves okay i want to join these curves so join this to this okay i think maybe i can remove this for a smoother transition something like that maybe this as well okay
Okay, maybe something like that, okay? Okay, let's um trim off this this uh region over here. So I'm gonna go to trim command. Okay, trim off this and then let's mirror this onto the other side, okay? Okay, I'm going to turn on the mid. Okay, so the start of the mirror plane is this mid and pressing holding the shift key for temporary auto. Okay, I get this other half. Okay, now let's uh, try to create this curve over here and we can use the adjustable curve plan. Click here and click here. Okay, and set maybe the one and two to both curvature. And pressing and holding the shift key, we want to do a symmetrical adjustment. Press and hold the shift key and adjust the control points. Okay. Maybe something like that will do. Okay. Click OK. Maybe let's uh, adjust this a little bit, something like that. Okay, so um, let's try to create the sub D for this uh, side using the multi pipe. Okay, so select curves this and this enter. Uh, we will use the same setting as uh, this side. Okay. Okay, so we got something like that. Okay. I reckon I can move this a little bit in this direction for less uh, interference. Okay, we don't want to have interference over here. Okay, and then um, okay, I reckon that this portion here can be uh, better in terms of uh, the transition. We want it to be looking more gradual and smooth. Okay, so what you can do is um, turn on the selection filter sub object mode okay so click on this to enable the sub objects and then um i want to select this edge loop here so we can do so by double clicking on this and then uh press the delete key to remove it okay so remove the edge loop so you can see that this transition here is uh nicer looking now so let's do the same for this side as well double click press the delete key get okay, something like that okay so if you um, want to have even more control over this uh, transition, I'll say, you can also use things like uh, this one, okay? The slide mesh or slide sub D, okay? So you can select this, okay, no, let's uh, do a double click, okay? And then, okay? control the the position of the the edge uh edge loop okay but i don't think i want to do that okay so i think we are almost done let's just uh turn on the environmental map for a better preview So we got something like that okay and once you're done with your editing we can type the two nerves to convert the result turn sub d to nerves format okay so typing to nerves select okay let's uh deactivate the subjects okay select your sub d objects and press enter Okay, I want to delete input. Okay, yes. Okay, and then, yep, we got our result. Okay. Okay.
Okay, with that, I come to the end of this uh, demonstration. Hope that's been useful to you. See you. Bye.